हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर अनिकेत पावनोजी एंड यू आर वाचिंग बेसिक केमिस्ट्री वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ बॉन्डिंग इन कोऑर्डिनेशन कंपाउंड्स इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव सीन इफेक्ट्स ऑफ क्रिस्टल फील्ड स्प्लिटिंग ऑन प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ ट्रांजिशन मेटल कॉम्प्लेक्सेस इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल सी क्रिस्टल फील्ड स्प्लिटिंग इन टेट्राहाइड्रल कॉम्प्लेक्सेस टेट्रागोनली डिस्टॉर्टेड ऑक्टाहाइड्रल कॉम्प्लेक्सेस स्क्वायर प्लेनर कॉम्प्लेक्सेस आल्सो द मेरिट्स एंड डीमेरिट्स ऑफ क्रिस्टल फील्ड स्प्लिटिंग Let's begin with tetrahedral complexes. In the first lecture of bonding in coordination compounds, we have seen the crystal field splitting in octahedral complexes. In case of tetrahedral ligand field, the metal is at the center and the ligands are between the axes. In case of octahedral ligand field, we have seen that the ligands are along the axis. But in case of tetrahedral ligand field, the ligands are placed between the axes. In case of transition metal ion we know that there are two sets of d orbital the first set is dx square dash y square or dz square which is termed as e orbitals in this case the lobes of the orbitals are along the axis the second set is dxy dyz and dxz which is termed as t2 set of orbitals here the lobes of the orbitals are in between the axis from this we can easily understand that in case of tetrahedral ligand field where the ligands are between the axis will definitely exert more effect on t2 set of orbitals as the ligands are directly in front of the lobes of the t2 set of orbitals in case of isolated gaseous metal ion all these 5d orbitals they have same energy but when the ligands are arranged in the tetrahedral ligand field the e set of orbitals which are not directly facing the ligands will face less repulsion and its energy will decrease by minus 6 dq the t2 set of orbitals which are directly facing the ligands will face more repulsion and hence to maintain the barycenter its energy will increase by plus 4 dq remember in case of tetrahedral ligand field we are using the terms t2 and e this is because the tetrahedral ligand field does not have center of symmetry in case of octahedral ligand field the ligand field is symmetric it has the center of symmetry therefore they are called as g rays and we use the terms t2g and eg but in case of tetrahedral ligand field we use the term t2 and e as it doesn't involve the presence of center of symmetry this is called as crystal field splitting in tetrahedral complexes in case of crystal field splitting in tetrahedral complexes the each electron that will go into the e set of orbitals the energy of the system will decrease by minus 6 dq and every electron that will go into the t2 set of orbital the energy of the system will increase by plus 4 dq in the previous lectures we have already seen that the difference between the tetrahedral and octahedral complexes is in case of octahedral complexes there are total 6 ligands whereas in case of tetrahedral complexes there are total 4 ligands hence the field produced by the four ligand is always weak the strong ligand field is not considered in case of tetrahedral complexes let's move to the crystal field splitting in tetragonally distorted octahedral complexes this is the crystal field splitting in octahedral ligand field we know that in case of octahedral ligand field the ligands are along the axis they exert more effect on eg orbitals t2g orbitals are lowered in energy by minus 4 dq and the energy of eg set of orbital is increased by plus 6 dq now for tetragonally distorted octahedral complexes the ligands along z axis they move away from each other due to this the repulsion along the z axis is decreased and the energy of the dz square dyz and dxz is lowered when the ligands along the z axis they move away from each other the ligands along x and y axis they get some space and they move closer to the central metal atom due to this the repulsion along x and y axis get increased and the energy of the dxy and dx square dash y square orbital is increased this is called as crystal field splitting in tetragonally distorted octahedral complexes we can see that the dyz and dxz they have similar energy then there is dxy then dz square and finally dx square dash y square which is having the highest energy from this we can also understand the crystal field splitting in square planar complexes for the square planar complexes 
the ligands along z axis are removed once the ligands along z axis are removed there is no repulsion at all along the z axis the energy of the dz square orbital is lowered to the greater extent similarly there is less repulsion for dyz and dxz hence their energy is also lowered due to this the ligands along x and y axis they get more space and they move more closer to the central metal atom and exert more repulsion the energy of the dxy and dx square dash y square is increased this is called as crystal field splitting in square planar complexes we can easily see that the energy level now are dyz and dxz they have same energy as in case of tetragonally distorted octahedral complexes then there is dz square then dxy and dx square dash y square orbital when we compare all the crystal field splittings the tetrahedral ligand field has the least splitting whereas the square planar complexes they have highest crystal field splitting this was all about crystal field splitting let's see the merits of cft or advantages of cft crystal field theory predicts a gradual change in the magnetic properties of the complexes second is cft provides a theoretical basis for understanding and predicting the variation in magnetic moments as well as the detailed magnetic properties of complexes the third is we have seen that in case of valence bond theory it forbids the use of orbitals as they are involved in forming hybrid orbitals while crystal field theory strongly discourages their use as they are repelled by the ligands according to the valence bond theory the bond between the metal and the ligand is covalent while according to cft it is purely ionic now according to the molecular orbital theory the bond is now considered to have both ionic as well as covalent character unlike valence bond theory the crystal field theory provides a satisfactory explanation for the color of the transition metal complexes that is the spectral properties of the complexes it provides a ready interpretation of tetragonal distortion we have seen that crystal field splitting in tetragonally distorted octahedral complexes and it can explain semi quantitatively certain thermodynamic and kinetic properties let's see the disadvantages of crystal field theory or demerits or drawbacks of cft crystal field theory keeps a total emphasis on the metal orbitals without giving any consideration to the ligand orbitals therefore all the properties dependent upon the ligand orbitals and their interaction with the metal orbitals are not explained at all the simple ionic model which is the basis of cft does not accurately represent the bonding in all transition metal complexes there is much experimental evidence to show that both ionic and covalent bonding play an important role cft cannot explain the relative strength of the ligands if ligands are treated as point charges anionic ligands like oh minus exert more effect and bring out more crystal field splitting than the neutral molecules but most of the anionic ligands lie at a lower end of the spectrochemical series thus oh minus lies below the neutral h2o molecule which means that oh minus is weaker ligand than h2o similarly ammonia reduces greater field than water molecule although the dipole moments are just the reverse such results lead to doubt the original assumptions of purely electrostatic interactions occurring between the metal and the ligands due to this there was an origin of molecular orbital theory as in case of second demerit we have seen that the bond between the metal and the ligand has ionic as well as covalent character and there are some evidences which proves that the bond between the metal and the ligand is covalent if you like my lecture click on like do share and subscribe my channel if you want to ask something mention it in the comment box also press the bell icon to get the notification of my new videos and do watch basic chemistry thank you